Let's look at an example. Here you can see the beige box is being controlled by the arrow keys. If the beige box touches the red box, the program closes. That's the whole example. And here's the source code. I'm using lists of two elements to store the player coordinates, velocity, and acceleration. I could have done the same thing by writing coord x equals 250 and coord y equals 0, and the same thing with velocity and acceleration. I chose to use a list because I thought it was more organized. Having done that, any time I want to access the y value of the list, I use acc and then square brackets 1 to select the second element. If the down key is pressed, then I want to turn the acceleration in the y direction up by one value. I want it to increase in the y direction. And you might think that's backwards. It's because in Pygame, the upper left corner is 0, 0. And then as you move down the screen, the y values are increasing. So there's a little bit of a flip there. Then, when I specify the new velocity, I take the old velocity's x value and add the acceleration in the x direction, and I take the old velocity's value in the y direction and, and add the acceleration in the y direction, and together those form a new list with two elements in it. Same thing for the coordinates. I supply those coordinates and the width and height of the box to the, to the function pygame.rect, which produces a new object of type pygame.rect. These objects are convenient. I can use these objects together with a function called collide-rect to determine if these two objects have collided. That way I don't have to write a whole lot of code about the x and the y coordinates, although I could if I wanted to. These rects are also available to use in drawing functions. pygame.draw.rect requires that I tell it what screen to draw to, which is specified in the initialization section, what color to draw the rectangle in RGB values from 0 to 255, specified as a tuple, not a list, and then I supply it with a rectangle. So you see that the use of lists enables this game code to be somewhat more organized than it would be if it had x and y values. I'll extend this game a little bit and then show it to you again.